There are many titanosaurs, as they are the best known group of sauropods, but one with an exceptionally special name stands out and that is Dreadnoughtus. What makes Dreadnoughtus the sauropod superstar of Jurassic World Dominion and one of the stars of prehistoric planet so special? And how did it compete with other large titanosaurs of its time? These and some more will be the topics of this video. Dreadnoughtus, its name meaning the fearless. Dreadnoughtus lived 84 to 66 million years ago in Argentina. Fossils were found in the province of Santa Cruz in Patagonia. From Dreadnoughtus we know one species, Dreadnoughtus shrani. Dreadnoughtus was described in 2014 by the well-known paleontologist Dr. Kenneth Lakovara. Its fossils were found in southern Patagonia in the Cerro Fortaleza formation in 2005. However, the uncovering of Dreadnoughtus' fossils then took nearly 4 years, about 70% of its skeleton is preserved. Size estimates for this animal vary. A height of 5 to 6 meters or 17 to 20 feet, a weight of 32 to over 40 metric tons and a length of 26 meters or 85 feet are probably realistic as a general estimate. This makes Dreadnoughtus a very massive and cumbersome animal. Paleontologists believe that this animal was not yet fully grown and thus could have grown even bigger. Sauropods were after all the largest land animals that ever inhabited the earth. The skeleton of Dreadnoughtus is one of the most complete skeletons ever found. From this skeleton we can say that the neck of a large specimen was 11 meters or 36 feet long and the tail measured 9 meters or 30 feet. The fossil remains of Dreadnoughtus include a maxillary bone, a tooth, two cervical vertebrae with cervical ribs, eight vertebrae of the trunk spine with ribs, the entire caudal spine with 18 hemal arches, the shoulder and pelvic girdles and the bones of the fore and hind legs. Nothing was found of the feet apart from a few isolated foot bones. Some parts of the animal contained bite marks, potentially those of a megaraptor and theropod. Dreadnoughtus possessed an air sac system to efficiently supply air to its large body. Dreadnoughtus Shrani was named of the American entrepreneur Adam Shran, who provided financial support for the research project. Unfortunately, we do not know exactly what this dinosaur ate or how it spent its daily life. But we can take a look at the flora and also the fauna that Dreadnoughtus lived in. Dreadnoughtus remains have been unearthed in the Cerro Fortaleza formation of Patagonia. This flora had a warm, moderate climate at the end of the Cretaceous. Paleontologists such as Dr. Fernando Novas, among others, believe that the climate in which the Cerro Fortaleza deposit originated was humid with intervals of heavy rainfall and high water levels. This formation is composed of conifers and palm ferns with both gymno and angiosperm wood and various flowering plants among others. The known fauna of the Cerro Fortaleza formation consists mainly of dinosaurs, fish and turtles. Among the late Cretaceous dinosaurs found in what is now Santa Cruz province was another sauropod, a Chirosaurus superbus. It was slightly smaller and lighter than Dreadnoughtus but also lived from 84 to 66 million years ago. Slightly larger than Dreadnoughtus might have been the massive Poetosaurus. Coming in with a length of 30 meters or 89 feet and a height of 8 meters or 26 feet and a weight of over 40 metric tons, this sauropod was massive. Poetosaurus himself appeared 71 million years ago and was also a resident of what is now Santa Cruz province at the end of the Cretaceous period. The most dangerous animal of this region at that time was none other than Maib, Macrophorex, the shadow of death. This was the largest officially described representative of the Megaraptora. These predators all had long claws and razor sharp teeth and Maib was no exception. He may not have been as fast as the smaller Megaraptor because he was more massive in build but he was far more powerful. Maib was between 9 and 10 meters of 30 to 33 feet long and could reach a weight of over 4 metric tons. But despite all that I think Dreadnoughtus could defend itself against this formidable predator. After all, he was almost twice as tall and at least 7 times as heavy. Dreadnoughtus, he died out only at the end of the Cretaceous period, 66 million years ago, possibly at the KT mass extinction event. Thus, Mother Nature was the only thing that could make Dreadnoughtus disappear from the scene of our planet. That's it for the video about Dreadnoughtus. 
Leave a like if you liked it and subscribe to the channel for more videos. If you want to learn more about dinosaurs and prehistoric times, you can check out the playlist and activate the bell to not miss out on any further content. If you want to get to know me more, you can also check out Instagram or Twitter. And with that, have a nice day or evening. Megaraptor out.